why he said on raising taxes he begged the opposition for some alternative ideas. It's no wonder why. Missioner, license plate, ending sole source contracts, divorce by nursing home, all opposition ideas. But here's another. Your government just voted to spend another $10 million on the Kananaskis golf course. So why don't you go ahead, take the Wild Rose idea, and roll back the ridiculous spending on the golf course instead of raising taxes on hardworking Albertans? Well, uh, Mr. Speaker, speaking of uh, Wild Rose ideas, uh, the latest is that they should block the Keystone Pipeline, uh, which has emerged uh, as the a policy of the Wild Rose Party. I, I wonder if the Honourable Member would, would really like to speak to that and reassure all Albertans that uh, they've not moved to the left of the NDP in terms of their economic Shame. Opposition House Leader, your point of order has been noted uh, during that response. Let us move on to the first supplemental. Mr. Speaker, I'll be pleased to speak to that. The only people left are you guys. <laughs> Premier, Albertans need hospitals. They need schools. Albertans don't need their government spending millions on privately run golf courses, accessible to only the wealthiest of Albertans. Now, today we hear the Premier is actually increasing the pension top-ups of the highest paid government executives. Oh. Those making 140000 or more will see the taxpayer-funded portion of their pensions increased by 22 per cent. Wow. So here's another idea for you, Premier. Why don't you just go ahead and roll back that pension top-up instead of raising taxes on hard-working Albertans? You're here. Honourable uh, Premier. Well, well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. But um, another idea um, of the Honourable Member's party that we certainly won't accept is her Party's suggestion that not only do we block the Keystone Pipeline, but we immediately start a royalty review, Mr. Speaker. Perhaps the Honourable Member could reassure Albertans that this is not their case to destroy jobs and investments in our province. Opposition House Leader, your point of order has been noted at 204. Let's move on with the final supplemental. You know, Speaker, it's funny how he picks up something that's going on in the leadership review and he f refuses to answer the questions that are important. Yep. This pension top-up for the highest paid management in the government will cost taxpayers millions. The Premier says we're all in this together, but his actions don't follow his words. Last year, the government ignored a management ways freeze and instead quietly gave them all a raise, costing taxpayers at least $50 million. So, oh. Premier, if you won't cancel the pension top-up for upper management, will you at least take the Wild Rose idea and roll back the 50 million pay raises instead of raising taxes on hard-working Albertans? Good question. The Honourable Minister of Finance. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And again, the Wild Rose has gotten it wrong, Mr. Speaker. There is no pension top-up for senior officials, Mr. Speaker. I can say to you the pension benefit of government employees are not increasing with this change at all.